This is kitten update. They've come out from their house and now they're playing with us. The kittens have emerged from yeah. their lodgings <laughs> and are now foraging for friends. Yeah, they're they're having a good time and they're getting in our way now. <laughs> okay, so we're working on the ballista. We're starting to try to wrap the first bundle. What we're using is pieces of steel pipe. And we've got one quarter inch nylon braided rope. Uh, wait, not braided, twisted actually. And um, I've started it on the bottom piece with just a clove hitch and a stopper knot. And we're having to pull it through each side in turn. And let's see if I can set you up on a stand. All right, we got the first bundle on. I didn't tie it off very well. I'll have to figure out really what I want to do with it, but that'll serve for now. It's loose enough we can put a 2x4 in there and then we could try to tighten it up and see what happens. So uh, now I got to do the second bundle. <laughs> Okay, what was that? One full revolution? Uh, the arms are just two by fours. So, it's wider this way than it is that way. It wants to collapse to where it's flat. So, I've learned one thing already. The arm where you put it into the bundle needs to be square. Yeah, not... I mean, you want to take the corners off. You probably want it to match that kind of angle, see? You want the arm to be sort of a diamond. Uh, yeah, so I wonder if I fire this, if it's gonna collapse. You know, I might just give it a shot and try it. So, each arm, or each, each bundle piece has been turned 360 degrees, top and bottom. Um, <clears throat> it's braced, it's strung. It's the bottom side over here where it was digging in really bad, so I put the metal plate there and it dug into the metal plate. Whoa, I shouldn't do that. I'm on the wrong end of this! <laughs> oh god! So the scariest thing is, like I said earlier, the arms want to twist and collapse in the bundles because the arms are longer than they are wide. So, next time I make arms, you got to fill that little triangle void so that the arm doesn't want to twist. I'm going to fire this anyway, and we'll see if it twists when I fire it. It's, 
it's about hunting bow draw weight, I would say. Not, not any more than that. Maybe 50, 60 pounds. Um, so what I have going on here, here's the windlass. These are just screwed on to these, which are screwed on to this. And uh, I got a one and a quarter inch oak dowel going through here. And I've put in a half inch dowel to turn it. It's going through cross grain, so it's not going to split it open. And I've wrapped around a, a stretch of nylon rope. I got a bowline to an anchor shackle to the release. To release it, I'm going to pull this pin and the paracord should come out like that. And then all of this paracord will go shooting with it. I should probably trim this a bit. I'll try to tighten up these knots so I can draw it back a bit farther before I actually shoot. And then here I have one of my war bow arrows. All right, we're gonna give this another go. I lengthened the bowstring so the brace height's a little lower. And I tightened the top bundles just a couple degrees more. Everything's really sketchy. Three, two, one. I shortened the arms. It's now two feet from here to the end. There's an inch there. It was almost three feet. So I cut off about 10, 11 inches, I think, on each side. And then I tapered it a little bit on the part that I could get to. And uh, I twisted the top ones an extra what 45 degrees it's pretty it's pretty tight um, it's powerful enough that I don't dare pull it back by hand actually mostly because the stand is unstable <laughs> but uh, I mean yeah oh <laughs> you kind of need the fact that it's stressing its through this main board so that the stand will stay stable because if I try pulling it back I'm gonna pull it off the stand basically so I have no choice but to use my own little winch mechanism but that's fine um, I discovered a cool trick courtesy of YouTube uh, since I don't have a ratchet gear I have no way of holding it so what I was doing is ramming the full length dowel into the ground but what I did now is I drilled that hole and I can put this counter peg in there and that'll hold it at full draw for me so I can shoot it. Alright, we're going to see if the pin comes out. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Uh, three, two, one. All right, he's winding it back. <laughs> You're a creep. Tell me when to stop. Here, hold on a second. Okay, keep going. Okay, let's uh, wedge it now. Go a little bit farther, yep. There you go. Okay, let me come, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna get a hold, hold on. Let's just be a total idiot. I'm gonna stand right behind it. 
Okay. Countdown. Yeah. Uh, start at three. Three, two, one. Oh. The bowstring is a bit loose, so when it shoots, the arms are hitting the blocks. We just whacked that chunk in it. I, I think that is from this hitting it and not from compression, although I'm not sure. We're going to go measure our farthest shot of the day. What is it? Oh, call it 350. We call were it. we were shooting into the wind. <laughs> 